Hello and welcome. Today we are going to change this road network with loads of backup into a decent looking and functional interchange. It will be a park low interchange and will have a truss bridge so it blends in nicely to the surrounding area. We will show you some more of the town now that we pressed the play button in the previous episode. And if you missed it, the link is up here right in the corner. Last episode we have asked you to come up with a name for the town. And we've got some great entries and I will set up a poll on my community page on YouTube this week so you can all decide on what the name should be. Now how's that for letting you help out with this build? Now that's enough talking, let's start building. But not before we fix the sinkhole again. Before we can start building, we have to get rid of the road network as it is. So let's delete all the roads. And when I was done deleting all the roads, I felt kind of stupid because I used the bulldozer and deleted piece by piece instead of using move it and select the roads and delete them all at once. Silly me. And with the roads out of the way, time to level the terrain so it gives us a nice flat land to build on. Now let's start with the basic connections for the new road network. Let's start at this old interchange and connect it back up north. After that, time to add the bridge so we connect east to west. to bring in network multi-tool and use the slope tool to make sure the roads are nice and straight. And now that that's done, time to connect the roads together. First, let's place the roads in a way that we want them and straighten it all out later on. Let's have a quick look at the speeds on the interchange and set them in a way so it's safe to drive around. Now connect up the town to the highway and see if it functions before we start working on detailing. Seeing that it works, so now let's use TMPE to connect the lanes to prevent traffic from doing weird turns on the highway. We want to prevent traffic backing up because of the traffic lights. That's why I'm chasing some of the roads into asymmetrical roads so turning gets a dedicated lane.
let's start working on a first round of detailing. For this area, I wanted to create a place for flood water to gather and prevent overflowing in the area. And of course, it wouldn't be a thing if I wouldn't let it flood the interchange. Working with water in city skylines will always be a struggle for some reason. Now that we have softened the terrain and added some trees, let's make a flood water area on the other side as well. And I hope that this time we will do a better job of it. Because of the height difference, I wanted to create a retaining wall here. That will prevent the ground from flushing away during heavy rainfall. First I'm placing the wall, then use terraforming network to get rid of the terrain and after that do some surface network to fill in the gap. And I love how it turned out. What do you think? Now that most of the terrain work is done, and we know that the interchange is functional, time to work on detailing it a bit more with intersection marking tool.
For some reason I forgot to make the bridge a bit wider. But better late than never, right? And with that we will end today's episode, but not before I'll show you some of the cinematics. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you liked about this episode. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot if you did. And if you like to chat a bit more, you can join my discord server as well. The link is somewhere in the description below. But for now, thanks for watching and enjoy the cinematics, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. And take care.